Hello guys, welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2. As always, I'm Tivik, and uh, today we are going to do a couple of things. As I said last episode, I really want to get into equivalent exchange and all these nifty little features like the rings and uh, these cool things. But for that, we're going to need a lot and a lot of EMC. And... Um, well, that's not something that we have right now, so I'm gonna grab myself a bunch of basalt. I'm gonna charge up the lap pack. And we're gonna head down and start to dig a little bit. Um I've more or less removed all the track from the Billcraft, uh, sorry, the Railcraft experiments that I did uh before on the last episode. So uh, I got a lot of free space. I also need to make myself a new armor, but maybe I can make that out of some of the cool dark matter or something. So you remember this place. I switched it off just to s save on some lag. But I was thinking that I could build in this direction here a little area for uh, energy collection and generation. And we may need to make another well, not a dark room, but something else, I don't know, to produce extra energy. Or we can just pipe the diamonds out of here. I don't know. We'll see what we do. Anyhow, let's switch this one off. I don't want to generate too many diamonds. And uh, I'll dig out an area here uh, to work with. So, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I have a little area dug out here. Um, this area down here is something that I'm gonna build later, so that will have to wait for now. You'll see what that will be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cool, but yeah. So, let's see, what is the first thing we really need? We do need to have an energy collector. And these are expensive ones, but I have everything and we can generate whatever we do need extra. So let's grab these diamonds and go up. I'm gonna need a couple of these. Let's say four. I think four will be alright. Yes. So four blocks of diamond is not something that I have right now, so we're gonna have to generate a lot of them. But I'm also gonna need a lot of glowstone dust, so let's uh, take advantage of this since it's gonna be a uh, equivalent exchange build. We will use equivalent exchange for it. Yep. So let's switch this one on and see it generate some glowstone dust. And you'll see that glowstone dust is going to be generated fast. Is it starting now? Yes, it is. That's awesome. Cool. So we're gonna need for four of these. Uh, that's uh, 24 glowstones? Something like that. Let's... Um, We have enough to make three. So let's do that and just wait for the glowstone and then we're gonna have to get another diamond. Don't tell me I just spent one diamond. The one diamond I had left. No I didn't. That's bad if I do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna neaten this up later and make this look a bit better. Huh. Yeah, it is the same. Yeah, we're gonna see. That's a bunch of it. I do have some mobs inside my dark room. That's no worries for me, but, you know, sound is horrible. Okay, let's uh, craft up these blocks then. Well, that's nine blocks. Um, that's not going to be enough, but you'll have to do. 
Three furnaces for now then. And I need some glass. I should have some. Oh yeah. Plant out. I haven't gotten one diamond out of this yet. That's one. Yeah, that's not the fastest really. It's much faster off camera actually, but yeah. Um uh, let's see if I can craft up one of them. I should be able to craft up one. Yes. There we go. That's an energy collector. Let's uh place this guy there. We're also going to need one of these glowstone blocks on top. Now this one is generating and it's very slow but for the next step we're gonna need dark matter and that's a ways up so I'm going to stick a glowstone block in there and see if we can start generating some fuel for me. I think that's the best right now. Yeah. I've got two diamonds so far. So I'm gonna let this one generate for a while. I'm gonna need another block, actually two more blocks of diamonds. I need in total 18 diamonds. So I'm gonna do something else for a while I think and I'll catch you once I have the diamonds I need. Alright. So I've made three, actually four energy collectors. This one has not a, uh, hasn't got a glowstone block on top of it because I'm gonna use it for uh, another purpose. However, we do have some Mobius fuel. And I moved down my transmutation tablet down here. And uh, this chest here is gonna be for some of the things that I'll use. Yeah, I know. Um, using tungsten is probably not the best thing to do, but... I'm gonna make eight of these Mobius fuels because I need to make myself a client star. And after that I need to make a uh, energy huh, I think it's a relay. An antimatter relay. Seven obsidian, a block of diamond and glass. And you just put it on top of here. It will emit some light as well, so it will automatically boost this one. Cool, huh? Yep. So, the obsidian, we're gonna have to make a couple. But considering they cost 64 and I have an almost endless supply of uh, cobblestone, let's just get rid of a couple of stacks and make obsidian from it. Okay, so I can just burn that. Like so. And obsidian. Perfect. Now I should have enough. Now this is a process that takes forever. Literally forever. So I wonder if I can target fuel. Yes, I can. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure not gonna need my energy collectors anymore. Um, I'm going to let that one upgrade though. No need for them to collect for that if I can make the fuel. Perfect. So I'm gonna need another block of diamond, of course, so... Um, let me just take that out. Do so. But the client star I can make now. So I just put a diamond and eight Mobius fuel around it, and ta-da, client star. Awesome. Now this one, we teach to this. 
and as you can see it has zero EMC. Um, I can burn items in here like for instance if I burn uh, a single Mobius fuel and ta-da now I have it in the client star which means that I have 2048 EMC. Just putting that in there choosing a target I can pull out 2048 EMC worth of that. Cool. And this one is very much needed for pretty much anything that you make in this mod. So I'm going to let this one continue working. I'm gonna take that Mobius fuel back. Equivalent exchange, you can pull anything back. And um, this one I'm leaving here to upgrade to the last step, the Eternalist fuel, worth one diamond in EMC. Cool. So, we wait for these diamonds to be generated. So, see you in a bit. Okay. So, I got... Well, I got the diamonds, but I do need to make a diamond block, right? Yes. Diamond block. And... We have the antimatter relay. All these need to be upgraded. Perfect. Now, if I put that one in there, it should, I think, start converting. Uh, let me see. Yeah. I might need to burn items for it to actually charge my Klein Star. I don't know. The relay is not gaining anything. Hmm, maybe it needs to have a glowstone on top. Let's try. Nothing's happening. That's odd. This one is ticking, this one is not. And the one below. Oh. Has only a little light. Hmm. Very odd. I thought that I could place that on there. Huh. Let me work this out and I'll be right back with you. Oh, I think I know why. Now that I have this Mobius fuel charging up, the relay is actually being just that, a relay transfers uh, everything over to this one as it upgrades this Mobius fuel. So once this one is done making a channelist fuel then we should be ready. So that um, yeah that's interesting. Let me see here. Yeah that's a while until it's done. Can we help this? I'll borrow some diamonds and see if I can burn these to help out. As you can see, it drains this one out, increasing this one. Let's see though if I put that one there, charge it up a bit. I'm gonna have to make more client stars later. Oh, it's almost done. And this one will surely empty that poor relay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make something more advanced uh, at a later point, but that takes a bit of exploration, stuff like that, so... And there we have it. Eternal is fuel. And this one is now charging. Perfect! Uh, I'm gonna teach this to the table. And here's the good thing with these. A block of diamond and uh, eight eternalist fuel will make dark matter. And I'm gonna make the pickaxe as soon as possible. Because I really, really want it. 
So, before we do that, we do need to start generating more EMC. And when I mean more, a lot more. So let's see if I can pull out of these. That's four Achenalys fuel. I need a lot in total. Because what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade uh, this energy collector into a collector mark 2. And as you can see, we need the energy collector. That one we'll already have. But we also need dark matter. So all in all, we're going to need four of those. And then a bunch of glowstone. But that's no big deal. And uh, I suppose I can just put that one in. So we can charge this up. We also need to make a Mark II relay. And that's not too difficult, but we do need to make these first. So I'm gonna work off camera on this, uh, just uh, taking items forth and back between here and there, really. And uh, make me some dark matter. So I will see you guys once that is done, I think. Um, let's see, we can make two of these now. Yeah, that's seven. We're also going to need a block of diamonds, so... It's going to be a while. So I'm going to do a lot of work off camera, and uh, maybe we'll start on something new in the meantime, because this is definitely going to take too much time. Yeah, I'll leave the client star in here to be charged. And I can just sit there. And eventually it will fill up and then the relay will start filling up and uh, all is good. So let me think on what build we're going to do next and I'll be back. So, I've been thinking a bit. Having all this long tunnel system, this <laughs> enormous tunnel system actually and not really using it for anything but mining is quite boring so what I was thinking is as you can see on the map this is the end of the tunnel I'll switch over to x-ray mode and in this area here of ahead of me there is a forest or a jungle I think it's just forest it looks like it um, I'm gonna use this area I am going to... oh, that might be jungle, actually. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use that area for my tree farm and uh, a few other neat little things. Um, so, to be able to ship all the items forth and back, I am going to use trains. Um, long trains. I will show you exactly how I'm going to build them later, but it will be a lot of... Uh, dispensers, uh, track uh, track laying and these unloader and loader item loaders and unloaders uh, also liquid unloaders for some stuff we'll see probably for biofuel something like that so this is gonna be a very interesting thing to do it will probably span over a couple of episodes because it's very complex and big build and I'm gonna have to dig myself up to the surface as well which will take me quite a while although I could actually get my AI miner and have him dig up oh that's gonna complicate things yeah so I'm gonna have to dig this out and I'm gonna do the digging off camera Meanwhile, I did put a teleport tether in the um, base there, so it should keep everything loaded. So, once I have this all dug out, I'll be back with you. I'm also going to lay track all the way back home so that I can easily get into a powered, track, a powered car and go forth and back. So, let's start with that, actually. So, I'm going to do this now, and I think eventually I'm going to have a double track system. That's gonna be a lot of tracks, guys. Yeah, a lot of tracks, but it will be fun. Uh, we can play around with Railcraft. There are some really neat things you can build with that, so let me do that and, um, and uh, check back with you once I have gotten somewhere on this 
little journey. So, see you in a bit. I took a break by the equivalent exchange area to craft up my first dark matter. And I'm gonna be smart and teach it to my transmutation table so I don't have to craft it all the time. I wonder though how I'm gonna grab my Klein Star here. How much energy I won't have enough, no. That would be some almost a hundred thousand. I might be able to get one more dark matter out of that, but no. Um let's just burn a couple of these and put them inside the Klein Star. And uh take diamonds out instead. Awesome. Now I cannot let's uh burn another one into the Klein Star and then take a diamond. This is how you use the Klein Star. Yep. Now let's um make another block. And uh we don't have the fuel. So we have to charge this one. We do have two diamonds. So we will have the fuel. Awesome. I need the Klein Star for that. You have to actually put this one in and burn it so it's inside this. But since uh, it depends on oh, it depends on what you burn. Yeah. So that's another dark matter block. Awesome. And I'm gonna need a bunch of obsidian. So want to see something fun? Take a look at this. I now put one obsidian there, and that should be enough. I love the condensers, they're awesome. Okay. I really need to clear out that room at some point. Um, put some lights in uh, so that when I switch off the machine, it's dark. Well, it's light when I switch off the machine, of course. Okay. Let me stop talking crap and let's build this new relay. Actually, let's do the collectors first. Let's build two of these. That's one and two. Perfect. And uh, then I need to craft... Did I put it like that? And then I had a bunch of glowstone. I think. Yeah, I did. We do need to do that, so. That's 10 glowstone. Uh, I'm gonna need a few more. Yeah, that should be enough. I think. Yeah, probably. And uh, for that relay, I need to have a glowstone like that. Of the relay with the collector. There we go. And collector mark two. Talk to the machine. Now this one should be creating a lot more energy, a lot faster. Not as fast as that one, but yeah. Can help by burning some diamonds. So I was laying some track and uh, figured I want to build another one of these nifty little machines here. I want to build the driving cart. Um, let me see what that one is. Uh, the controllable traveling and the driving cart. I think it's the driving cart that I want. Yeah, let's go by that one. So we need some gold, some diamonds, one diamond actually, and uh, redstone and iron. I think I have... Uh, now I'll go upstairs and get the iron. I'll get one stack and uh, from the redstone stacks we'll get that much. Hmm. I wonder. Oh well. Did I need gold as well? Yes. I'm running all the way up again for a couple of pieces of gold. I hope that's enough. 
Yes. Now we just need the diamond. And I do have one fuel. So if I grab this one and uh, do that, I should have enough for one diamond. Awesome. Now these controllable driving carts, they're neat. So let's grab one of them. And uh, I think I will need some special track later. But let's just, for the fun of it, build this. Place down the cart. And um, oh, yeah. I need to pick up some fuel, otherwise, I won't go anywhere. I'll put in some cold coke in there. Go, we got fuel, and now I can. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let's um, put it in the right correct uh, right direction, shall we? There we go. Now, if I increase the speed, this should chug along slowly until we run out of track. Cool. And I'm just going to grab that coal and let it... I wonder... Hmm, I wonder if there's a way to get that fuel out, or if I should use normal coal for this. Yeah, it will help me get around a bit faster once I head down into the caves again. But I should probably be able to craft... There is a special track for these guys. It should be called Rail in this. It's called Rail Junction. So I'll craft up a couple of these because I can turn the machine using that one. So I actually have the materials already. So let's make four. Now the cool thing with this is that I can, if I place down, let's say... I'll start here and go and go like this and this. I might have to push uh, put that one down. There we go. Awesome. Now if I put the driving cart down here, and uh, that's the wrong direction. And I'll give it some cheap fuel. Does that work? No. Um, do I have normal coal in here? Of course not. Let me grab some coal. I don't want to waste too much fuel on this, so I'm going to put that away and grab that. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to see this in a small area, but there we go. If I now give this one piece of fuel and increase the speed and hold left, I will turn to the left track. Okay. Now, if I hold forward, I will just go straight ahead. Holding forward, going ahead. Holding right, I will turn to the right, and then it will just follow the track. So right now, it's making me turn. But here, if I hold forward, I go straight. Neat. So with this, I can make sort of a turnaround point. which I will build downstairs. So I'm gonna have to clean up my inventory quite a lot because there will be a lot of digging now. I did visit my little farming cart upstairs and I got myself a lot of bread. It has literally like six or seven stacks worth of uh, worth of uh, stuff there. Let's see, I'm gonna 
go back down here and dump, because I'm going to make this a little train for me to work with. Um, I'm going to dump that, and we don't need these at the moment. Um, this one we don't need. The track we do need. And we can keep that. Also the glowstone we don't need. Um, I was thinking that I should make a couple of normal cart tracks. So let's make a bunch of chests. Let's just do that and I have so much crap in here I need to clear this out as well. Okay. There we go. And uh, with all these, I think that I can make the huge storage carts. This will be part of my transportation system. I just need a large storage cart. Huh. You know what? Let's... Hmm. Let me put that one down and check my normal chest cart. I don't know how much space I have in these. It's a small chest. Hmm. I know that there are problems with the unloaders, but I can use cargo managers, I suppose. Hmm. Three chests, a bunch of iron. Things I don't need the engines, so let's use normal carts. Let's build. I don't know. Four of them. Yeah, that will do. Okay. So now, if I go down here to my little... Oh yeah, let's check on the diamonds real quick. <laughs> Already ten. You see, really producing them fast there, but it will be increased once we get more EMC generation going. Mm, I need to finish building this track here. I only got about halfway. I wonder, tracks are EMC, so I can probably build these using equivalent exchange. Now, that would probably be cheating, but I don't like creosote oil and the way, a long time it takes for me to produce it, so... Yeah. I don't know. You can go ahead and yell at me for uh, thinking about using uh, that for that, but uh, I'm going to. Saves me time. Okay, so here I want to put down... Since I will want these to be connected at some point, let me see. Tracks. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go build this and uh, make myself a couple of extra tracks as well. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, so... I am currently on a train. And, whoa, that's a lot of smoke. And if you see behind, I have chests. This is a chest cart train sort of thing, yeah. I don't know what all these meters mean, but... I think that's the fuel, yes. It's how much I have in the fuel there. Really cool. This I enjoy. I can now easily transport myself to and from my base. 
and now we're gonna lower the speed a bit and hold oh hold left turn oh that's odd okay that didn't quite work out the way I hoped but I'll stop that one Let's push that one back a little bit. And we'll just use normal for this, since this is a one direction thing. There we go. And put that one there and give it a little nudge in the correct direction. And we'll grab these again. Stop it. Go that way. Stop it. Ah. I hate it when these trains don't comply. I just want you to move a little bit further. Later I am going to use loaders and unloaders for this. And we can have some really cool stuff going. Perfect! And we want the train to go in that direction. Now just hopping into the train, making sure it has fuel, and if I increase the speed a little bit, the train should slowly turn around with all these little nifty carts. Perfect! So I now have access to five chests. Awesome. I can make this train longer if I want, but... I think this is fine. So, I'm gonna go and dump off all my items and see if I can upgrade. You see, I got a lot of diamonds. I'm gonna make another collector and um, let's see. I did teach the Mark II collector to here, so the question is if I burn all this. Do I have enough for the collector? I have for the Mark 1. But I'm also about 500,000 low on that. So, hmm. Why don't I have enough for that? Oh, yeah. I need to grab this one, which is a Mark 1. Because remember, that one is worth quite a lot of EMC. So let's put in the Klein Star and the Energy Collector, and the diamonds should produce. No, it didn't. Let's grab that one and the diamonds back. Hmm. Odd. Do I need so much more? The Mark II, I'm gonna need a total of. Oh, yeah. I see. It's 139 for just that. Ouch. How are we on diamonds? 20. How much is that? 163. I can grab the dark matter, I suppose. And that one. If I burn that and that. There we go. Collector, and we'll collect the leftovers with the client star. Awesome. As you see, this increased the speed of this one, and we'll just fill the client star up with energy. I wonder, relays can't send to other relays. So, I suppose we can't chain them up to do more cool stuff. But, this will do. I should be able to uh, at least pull out a bunch of diamonds in this. Six. Well, yeah, not a bunch, but... Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, so let me get my inventory cleaned up and I head over to start building my exit up into the overworld on the other side. I'm going to get one of these teleport tethers as well, just to be sure. So I'll see you once I have dug that out, or if I find something cool. Which, you know, might happen. So see you in a bit. Alright, guys. Take a look at this. I came up on the other side, and uh, yeah, seems like we have a nifty little rainforest going here. We'll be using this for the um, for the um, what do you call it, the forest carts, and uh, we'll be starting by creating a couple of these trains with engines that can go forth and back and uh, load and unload items. We're gonna use some train. Uh, um, yeah, some train handlers. I I'll show you later. That's really cool, I tell you. But for now, it's actually getting dark. So let me just push this one a bit and get on that before it goes wild. Oh, this is sort of a roller coaster situation going. And we go down. I can't see a thing over the controls, but that's fine. and all the way down and we still have all the carts I hope and we head all the way back to base now this is awesome we can also measure how far we've traveled 400 and something meters I am going to go ahead and uh, build a station sort of thing up by where I had the old rail station and uh, yeah, we'll do some fun stuff there. There we go, we can slow down a bit here. And the train is stopped. Perfect! Yeah, so we'll have a station up here instead, so I don't have to run up these stairs. Because running, why run when you have a train? Awesome. Let's take a look at our chest here with diamonds. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Klein Star, we can charge up, but we should be able now to at least get a single dark matter out of here. And if we then dig this off, get the Klein Star. Put it there, put the dark matter in there, put the energy collector in there, and we should have enough for a Mark II energy collector. Awesome! Let's uh, place that one down. Now, this should charge even faster. The next step is to get the relay upgraded, and uh, I'm gonna wait until it's done uh, producing enough EMC for that using these and uh, after that we're gonna have to call it an episode I think so let's see that's how many it's 24,000 yeah we're gonna need quite a lot more so I will see you guys in a bit okay guys so the last thing we're gonna do this episode is to upgrade our relay to mark 2 relay Right there we go, and this one will really fill my client star fast. So yeah, the next step for us would be to work toward red matter, and that's um, I think it's four. Yeah, we're gonna have to make three red matter, well dark matter, and then the channel is fuel, so that we can work for that. And then I'm gonna work for the pickaxe and the shovel sort maybe but the pickaxe and the shovel they're a must I really want them but while I am doing this I might as well just upgrade this one so I'm gonna grab one more of these hmm that's interesting I thought I'd have more for those didn't think they were worth 24 
Let this charge up until I have 48. Well, that's 50. So we can make two more Klein stars. There we go. The reason for this is simple. I want to upgrade my Klein stars into the next step. And it does keep the amount that you had in it. So this one can hold a lot more EMC, which we will need for the future. So, yeah, this has been a very uh, EMC focused episode. We're gonna keep on doing that, but in the next episode, I will, with the help of Equivalent Exchange and a few other things, build on my rail network. As you can see, I got my train up here. I do need to figure out a way to have it stop up here. Or otherwise, things will go bad. Yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. That's going to be episode 14, I believe. Yeah. And uh, that's about that. See you guys. Have a nice one.